And good evening to those of you on Facebook Live as we prepare to go live on the SVP TV network as I am just running into the studio right this very minute. It's good that I am a pro. Because if I was not a pro and I needed 30 minutes to prepare myself for 20 minutes to prepare myself. And don't need makeup. And don't need makeup. I'd be in terrible shape. But the baddest man on TV is in the house getting ready to do what I do better than anybody on the planet. Yes, you throw them others in the, in the trash there, Daphne. Thank you so much for your great assistance on this Friday afternoon. All right. Brandy Mims is coming into the room. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. And I ain't had a drink all day. <laughs> but oh, just wait a minute. Ella Watson, good evening to you. Tara Boone, good evening to you. This subject that I'm going to have tonight is going to be for parents with grown children. Your child has made a mess of their life. Now you are making a mess of your life over the mess that they made. I think that that, that would preach on a Sunday morning. In fact, don't forget to join me this Sunday morning when the subject will be excuses, excuses, excuses. Those of you around the country, um, make sure that you tune in a little bit after 10 on Saturday morning. Pop that open a little bit. Don't take it out, though, Dale. If you're happy and you know, why am I singing that? I don't, don't take that okay. All right. That's the message Sunday morning, Tarabo. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Some folk live their life in a world of excuses. Uh, the reason that you are in the condition that you are in is <laughs> because of the excuses you've made. You are in an unhappy marriage or in an unhappy relationship because uh, of the excuses that you made. I, I'm going to leave him. Mm -hmm. If he hit me one more time, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave him. Mm -hmm. you, you are in the, your, 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 your spiritual well-being. I would believe in God but I, I would be faithful in church, but I, you know, I, I ain't right yet. None of us get right. Okay, none of us get right. But come and join me this Sunday morning, 10 o'clock is the time, for excuses, excuses, excuses. We're going to start with the first excuse that is known to man. Mm, that one, when... Alan told God, that woman you gave me, that um, mm, 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 mm. Tequila, I love your name, baby. I could use a shot of you right now. Mm, mm, mm. That's my favorite. I know that's your favorite. You don't have drinking sense, though, definitely. Or just a little drop of alcohol. <laughs> Oh, is that my cue? Did y'all enjoy the show last night? I was ranting last night. Ranting. All right. Renee Hurd, C Trail, when you coming? Home. Jessica Booker Shield. Clofus. 
Jay Ward, thank you so much for being in the building, my friend. No blues, baby. It, you must ain't been around a long time. I don't do blues on Friday nights. Thank you. Ain't no money in it, baby. And if it don't make dollars, it don't make no sense. Garland County. <laughs> He will let you know Maria Truesday. They don't get it right. Ten seconds. <clears throat> Five, four, three. And just when you thought it was safe, it is absolutely positively not. And good Friday evening to you. I am the one and only. I'm Thaddeus Matthews. So glad to be here with you on this Friday night. It's been a great day. It's been a beautiful day. Even with the sun not shining all day long, but the sun, the S-O-N, shines in my life. I, I feel great this evening, hoping that your day has been simply marvelous. Any day that you're able to walk on top of the ground and you do not find yourself resting in it, then you know that you have the opportunity to take every negative in your life and turn those negatives into positives and to take the lemons of life and turn those lemons into lemonade. Thank you so very much for joining us here. Uh, those of you who are joining us by way of the SVP TV network and to those of you who come in by the thousands on Facebook Live. Thank you and good evening to each and every one of you. My subject tonight, and it just jumped up in my spirit this morning, uh, and because a lot of times I don't decide what I'm going to talk about or what I'm going to deal with until late in the afternoon, especially if it's not something that is happening in the news and this one just jumped up and I, and I I just believe that the reason that it came to me is because this is a subject that uh, y'all need to hear or someone needs to hear. Age of Brown, good evening to you. One of my members got her brand new job, one of them nice figure jobs. Uh, glad for you. Age is going to be baptized on next Sunday. Oh, girl, I'm going to dip you deep in the wall. Uh, Age of Brown, love you, little baby. Love you to death. Now, this subject tonight, and somebody, some, some adult need to hear this. Your child has made a mess of their life. Now, you are making a mess of your life over the mess that they made. I, I, I believe I'll run up and pass you again. Mm. Your child, your adult child, your grown child has made a mess Of their life. Now you are making a mess of your life over the mess that they've made. I want you to stay here tonight for this one because somebody truly needs to hear this. Now, if you are unemployed, the place that you need to be tomorrow. It's Naked Truth, Liberation, and Empowerment Ministries, 3835 Raleigh Militant Road. We're having a job fair. It's open to the public. It's free of charge from 9 a.m. 
until four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Uh, such companies as Federal Express will be there, temporary services. Those of you who are felons, okay, there is a program that is in a job placement or how you can get skills for a job that is going to take place tomorrow as well. This company is going to be there. It, there is no issue. Well, it's raining outside. See, that go back to that sermon I'm preaching Sunday morning at the Naked Truth Liberation and Environment uh, Ministries at 10 a.m. Excuses, excuses, excuses. How come you to go to the job fast? It was cloudy. It was, it was raining. It was thundering. I didn't want to get wet. Excuse. I didn't want to drive from Whitehaven all the way to Raleigh. Excuses. When you're going to drive all the way across town tonight to go to the club with your little $10 to get in as a woman waiting for some man to buy you a drink. Excuses. Well, I'm going to preach that Sunday morning. Y'all need to be there Sunday morning. Excuses, excuses, excuses. And the reason that many of you are unemployed is because of the excuses that you made. It's Christmas time. You're in peak season. There are plenty of jobs that are out there. Well, I got a, I got 10 degrees, but you ain't got a damn job. Hmm. I don't want to do that kind of work, but you ain't doing no kind of work. Excuses. So tomorrow morning at the Naked Troops Liberation and Empowerment Ministries, 3835 Raleigh Milton Road. You'll see the sign out there with, my, with the name of the church on the marquee. My name's out there. We got a few little signs in front of the church that said, Job Fair. Come on. From 9 on till 12 o'clock on this Saturday. In the morning. Please be there. Here's a public service announcement as well. <clears throat> Those of you on the EB&T card and you've gotten your cards and you're used to selling your stamps, please remember that in three weeks is going to be Thanksgiving. Okay? Y'all going to be begging for some turkey and some dressing, some uh, ham hocks or neck bones or whatever it is that you eat. And you're going to be begging, want somebody to give you something for nothing. You're going to be trying to get all the little free dinners that's going to be out there because you're selling your steps. My announcement to you tonight as a public concern, don't sell your stems. Feed yourself. Okay? Feed yourself. That I just thought I'd use that as a uh, public service uh Announcement, don't, don't sell your stamps and be looking. You know, I had tried to figure out if I was going to, through the church, uh, try to feed folk like we did last year. No, I'm tired. I work seven days a week. My days start early and they end late. I got enough community outreach things that I'm doing that I am not going to be up all day because there are two days I take off the air officially. That's Christmas and Thanksgiving. And we'll run a show or something, but I will not be live in the studios. I'm going to rest. I am going to stay in my bed and rest on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'll get up later that, that evening, give me some something to eat, but I'm going to rest on Thanksgiving day. I, I do all of these outreach programs in the community, but I got to think uh, about me. Because if I ain't thinking about me, ain't nobody else gonna be thinking about me. So I gotta take care of me for me. So I'm not gonna be serving no Thanksgiving dinners. Uh, so y'all save y'all stamps, okay? Don't be calling me, can I, you, you gonna be, no, I ain't feeding nobody but me on Thanksgiving Day. That's the only something about it. I'm gonna try to give me some ham, 
of some wine, give me some some turkey and some dress and some some chitterlings and stuff like that. Uh, but I ain't feeding nobody else. Now this is just me. I, that's just me. But I'm sure that there will be uh, some other uh, churches and ministries, hopefully, that will be serving. But but I am. I do so much, I, and I try to do so much through ministry as a as outreach. You know, like right now, I am working on trying to make sure that those who are homeless. Have you seen Lavelle on? Not yet. He, he hasn't been on. But when y'all see Lavelle McCray come on, uh, tell him thank you. And what do you tell him thank you for? He's in Oakland, California. He has heard me talking about, I want to make sure that those who are sleeping outdoors, who have to sleep in adverse situations where the climate is not good for anybody to be sleeping on the ground and under uh, bridges. We're doing a blanket drive. We're doing a blanket drive. We want to be able to take at least a hundred blankets there are dozens of people, and I ain't talking about the little people that sleep on, uh, that be on the exit at the uh, interstate, because they really ain't out there. So I'm going I'm to take out the truth. Them people y'all see like out in my area near Riverdale and Winchester, they live right across the street in that old daycare center. They go in through the back way. They ain't out those, okay? Group of them, even the dog living there, because they trade that dog some days. One got the dog the day, and then when the shift changed, the next person on the corner got uh, got the dog. Uh, but there are legitimate people who are sleeping in parks in the city. They're sleeping on the bridges in the sleeping in the city. They're sleeping in alleyways, and it's going to get cold. And I want to make sure that persons who are outdoors at least have a blanket. It will keep some of the weather off of them. Lavelle McCray, who's here on Facebook, normally he hasn't gotten on the page as of yet, sent me two packages. Like as I'm leaving the church, the UPS man uh, was dropping off. And this comes from blankets. Two good fleece blankets. Brand new blankets. Uh, and this comes all the way from Oakland, California. Ladies and gentlemen, I need your support right here in the Mid-South, right here in the city of Memphis. I'm going to get what is Angela Wilborn? All scams matter. Is that supposed to be derogatory? Yeah. Okay, well, we ain't, we ain't gonna even worry about it. We're gonna wait till your ass sleeping out those under the bridge, and then we're gonna push your ass over in the wall. We're just gonna get rid of her right now. I don't have to scam, baby, because I got plenty of covers on my bed. Praise Jesus. Ooh, okay. If you have blankets, bring it by the church, 3835 Raleigh Militon Road. Bring them by the church. I'll be there all day tomorrow. I'm usually there all day, every day. Bring the blankets by. This is for people who are sleeping outdoors. They'll come get this and put it back. But this, this gentleman sent this all the way. He sent two of them, in fact. Okay. All the way, nothing important. All the way from Oakland, California. That's part of the outreach of the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. If you would like to send a contribution, put the PayPal up, uh, please. If you like to send a contribution and you don't want to go out shopping for the blankets yourself, there it is. 
paypal.me forward slash naked truth ministries. Uh, had a gentleman in my office today, Brother Brown, who's going to make a contribution to do this. If you don't want to, and if you got some old blankets at your house, but they're nice blankets. Don't give someone on the street something that you would not sleep under yourself. Okay? Uh, Latonya Freeman, my member, brought, uh, one of my members brought in, what about, six, seven blankets? Ten blankets the other day. Some of those blankets I'm going to take over to the Parkway uh, nursing home for Miss for Miss Donnelly, uh, 106 years old. We're going to make sure she all it up. Uh, and if you don't want to give, don't give. But don't let me see you said nothing negative on the Facebook page. So you're automatically going to be blocked. I don't have to scam anybody, baby. Okay? I, I, I really don't. And especially about a blanket. So if you would like to give, please give. Bring your blankets by that. Like I said, I'm at the church all day, every day. If I'm not there, just leave them at the front door. When you come to the front door, there's a buzzer on the door, and we'll come to the door. I'm usually parked in the back where it said pastor at. But you can come to the front door and bring your blankets by there. Also, Fatty Bear's kids. I'm trying to make sure that 50 children have a very merry Christmas. A very merry Christmas. I did this last year with the Douglas Angel Tree. I'm not in Douglas anymore. I'm in the Raleigh community. And it's not just for uh, people who live in the community. It is for anybody in the Mid-South. I want to give away, uh, I want to make 50 children happy. We want to get some bicycles and, and things of that nature. Last year, many of you went out and purchased bicycles, you purchased toys, and you brought to the church last year. We were able to make these children happy. It's November the 2nd now. Christmas is not far away. And again, I've, I've got people that are sending me your emails about your children. I need to know why your child needs assistance. I have one lady saying uh, about her grandchildren. Okay, and we're going to help you. We're going to make sure that they have something uh, for Christmas. Just go to the church uh, email. Email me, you can send it tonight. Uh, Naked Truth Ministries at gmail.com. Naked Truth Ministries at gmail.com. Send me a letter. Please put your information how you can be contacted. Send your information. Send the reason that this child needs to be helped. Uh, and tell us the type of gift that this child wants and needs. Now, let me start talking about no, uh, she, they need no phones. I ain't, we ain't getting no phones, okay, and things of that nature. What does your child need that is going to make that child happy on Christmas morning? Naked Truth Ministries at gmail.com. And we're going to do this for at least uh, 50 children. Again, don't forget about the job fair in the morning from 9 until 4, which means I got to get up early in the morning again. But it's what we have to do to make things happen. Don't forget that Daylight Saving Time starts tomorrow night. Uh, set your clock back one hour. I might have to book your church on time Sunday morning. Uh, set your clock back one hour on tomorrow night as we're moving into Daylight Saving Time. Sin again, those of you who need assistance for your, ch your child. Now, if y'all got a house full of children, the daddies need to help. Now, you got eight children. I ain't getting no gifts for all eight of your children. Now, that, that's out. Okay, I don't even tell you that lie. We're going to try. Oh, no, I ain't. You know, the daddies need to try some. Oh, Y'all can go and say, man. Hell, 
I got eight children. Can you get up? No. No. I'm going to help you get a job. You come on to the job fair. Hell, we give all your children something. Won't be no other children able to get none. Then nobody tell you to go out and have no daycare something. Okay, stop that. Sorry, be nice. All right, our subject tonight is your child, your adult child, your, your grown child has made a mess of their life. They in and out of jail. They just won't do right. Won't get no job. They own crack. They own hair run. They running from the law. Your child has made a mess of they just a mess. They done told you I'm grown now. But they keep making bad decisions. And because of the decisions that your grown children have made. You have made a mess of your life. Because of that mess. You, you, you work at an extra job for somebody that's in jail so you can put something on their books for their commissary. You put your house up for a habitual go to jail. Just go to jail. You put your bond money. You bond them out of jail constantly. They're nicer to you in jail than they are when they out. They never would call you when they were out of jail, but every day they want to call, and them calls cost a lot in the jail. They want to talk to their mama every day. Couldn't speak a kind word to you when they were out of jail. Now it's, mama, will you get me out of jail? You have messed up your life. Getting lawyers, spending money, borrowing money that you don't have, you can't pay back, you can't take a trip, you stressing yourself over a grown child. You may have raised that child right and your child has made some decisions that you had nothing to do with, but because you said, that's my baby, you have made a mess of yourself. You stress your high blood pressure just going up. Your low blood pressure just going down. You, 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 you can't sleep at night. You worried about somebody grown that made some bad uh, 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 mis decisions. Let me, let me give you what my new phrase is. This is what you as parents have to learn to say. Your bad decisions will not become my emergency. Let me say it again so you can get that. Somebody said, what about they have hard time in jail when they don't eat and get turned on? See, I don't know whether you're a woman or a man, but that's your, that's your damn problem. Didn't nobody tell you to go to jail? Okay? They, they get jumped on in jail. You should have stayed out here in the streets. You didn't have to get jumped on if you had to did the right thing. Your bad decision will no longer become my emergency. So what you got jumped on in jail? You shouldn't have robbed them people. You shouldn't have carjacked them people. You shouldn't have raped that woman. You shouldn't have lured that woman into jail. They supposed to beat your ass. 
in the jail. Your bad decision. Your bad decision. That can't become my emergency. You got a good job with benefits. And you decide you want to do something else and you quit your job before you got whatever else you want to do up and running where it pays you what you make it on your real job. That's your decision. I ain't getting in that. Your bad decision can't become my emergency. You let children who tell you they grown still stay in your pocket. You ain't grown if you got to get my money. If every month your bill do, you got to come see me. How you going to tell me you grown? I just need a little help. Not every month. And if you are a girl, a female, and you got a man, you ain't got no business asking your daddy, your mama, and nobody else for nothing. If you got a man that can't uh, take care of you, your bad decision on the man you got will not become my emergency. My light's on. Hmm. So this is what we're going to deal with on tonight. But see, many times, and I, I, I had to come to this point. My youngest daughter has made some decisions that I think is just totally foolish. Okay? I support your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations. I do. I, I, I'd like to see everybody be self-sufficient and be an entrepreneur. But, and see, I had to read about it on Facebook. Because you ain't call me and tell me about it because you know what daddy going to say. You're going to quit your good job with full benefits Full insurance. They give you that F, M, and L, A, whatever this stuff is, cause you have a sickness. You pick up a new little trade and idea, and I want to see my baby grow and be ambitious and do the things she needs to do and be an entrepreneur. And as I read on Facebook, be able to take care of her mama. That's good because I don't need to take care of me. I'm a man that takes care of myself. But had you asked your daddy for some advice, one who has been in business over 30 years with the ups and downs of business and still has the ups and downs of business, I'd have told my baby, I'd have told him, keep your day job where you got full medical dentures and 401ks and all those benefits where you have the opportunity to grow and have a career and make more than fifty or sixty thousand dollars or more a year you got this new thing that you're doing you're doing so so with it Okay, but you're in a business where folk are not running to take a part of your product, especially in the Christmas and the uh, Thanksgiving season. This time of year, mm -mm. folk can't think about no insurance. Black folk ain't think about no no uh, no insurance. They think about some Santa Claus.
Is that the person you're talking about, the Sarah Pittman? Yeah. Okay. Okay, she's gone. Um, you got four benefits. And you decide. Here's your follow. A businessman, you didn't sit down and talk to me. You don't want to get your new house. That's great. But my advice from a business standpoint is to keep your corporate job. Focus on your corporate job when you're on your corporate job and still being on Facebook. On your corporate job. You got your corporate job because I got you your corporate job. They've been somewhat lax on you because of your last name. Hmm. I will have told you to maintain that which you already got, where you're already making a good income, where you, you can go to the doctor anytime you want, the first time you ever had a job like this now, you can go and use your benefits. You get vacation time. You, you get one of them good corporate jobs. Well, two months in, you had a, it, it, it registered like you've been there a year. Hmm. Then I read on Facebook. Because you know not to call me with that. Because I'm going to give you business advice and fatherly advice. Hold on to what you got. Because you're, daddy, you don't, daddy, daddy, I want to be successful. I, I did too when I was your age. I've, I, I've been in business. I, I've started quite a few businesses. Some worked out, some didn't. But you got a good corporate job, good corporate job. Then I just, I walked you through the door in it. Then I go to Facebook and you're on daytime putting your picture on Facebook talking about you finna give your two week notice. Yeah, you keep trying. I kept trying it they don't work. Because I had to do it all by myself. I had to be a man. I had to suffice. And I like to see her have her own business. But there are steps and I've had to learn this. There are steps to working to yourself. See, working for yourself is a little bit different. And I make a good income. Praise Jesus. But every dollar that I make, I can't put it in my pocket. There are business expenses that's going to go on even when you... Your, your house got the business, like now. I got the business of what I do with, with the Thaddeus Matthews Media and Broadcast. I got the media, I got the bills of my house, and hell, I got most of the burden of Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. So I have to have a business structure and I'm always looking to put my hands in some other stuff. Uh, and I, I'm going to be telling you about some stuff. And that's the reason I'm selling that, that, ju and that juice did work last night. Praise God. That's what the juice. The juice. Whoa, the juice worked. Uh, mm, I'm going to be selling that juice. I'm always looking because I'm an entrepreneur. But I understand through years of study and trial and error, 
what I need to do. I, I would have shared with them, hey, God, I, baby, what you need to do, hold on to this. Work this part-time. Set yourself a goal of how much you're going to make and you want to make that you can make on the other side of the expenses of your house so that you can have some money that you can put over yonder in case, because the insurance business, selling business, is not money that you're going to make every day. The insurance business with black folk, black folk don't want none. They want you to, they want to die and have the folks sell some spaghetti dinners. That's what I would have told but you didn't come to me. So, one of the things I found myself doing was that was a period in Dominique's younger life that I wasn't there. So I found myself dealing with, like a lot of you do, the guilt factor. So I just poured my money out. Anything she wanted. Daddy this. Daddy this. Daddy this. Hmm. Until she made a classic statement to me a little bit over a year ago when I thought she was making a bad decision about a relationship and moving from Memphis. And my baby said to me, Daddy, I'm grown. And when she said, Daddy, I'm grown, it was like, I, you know how you, you hear them, the heavenly choir singing, the, the trumpets, the, the sky open up and you see the angels and things. Y'all seen the movies where when, you know, when the premonitions and them things come, I could hear the horns blow. I could see Gabriel. Blowing on his heart. And I came to the realization. She grown. And grown folk have to make grown folk decisions. You've got to make some decisions that I may not like. But your bad decisions will not become my emergencies. I always love you because you're my daughter. You, you. But your bad decisions can't become my emergencies. Mm. Mm. Your bad decisions so we find ourselves as parents sometimes, especially when we've been a parent that has not always been there. We try to help so much that we find ourselves enabling that child. They won't pay their own rent because they know they can come and get some rent money from you. Well, the, the, touch your neighbor. I, I just hit somebody at the house. They will spend. They will spend their money on what they want and come to you for their needs. They'll go to the club. They'll buy a new outfit for the club. Give them some new weed. Knowing that the Memphis Light Gas and Robbery Bill is due. Daddy, mama, they finna cut my lights off. Didn't you just go to the club Saturday night? Yeah. Didn't you just get your new outfit? Yeah. Didn't you buy you some new shoes? Yeah. Didn't you buy you some weed to smoke? Yeah. Then, baby, walk into your house. You believe in the law? Yes. Walk in your house and say, let there be light. Mm. 
own. Sometimes your child got to sit in the dark so that the light can come on in their life. I just dropped something on y'all if y'all didn't get it. Sometimes your daughter and see, you, you got to also well, wait a minute, I, I, I got a point. I'm going to come back to that point. You got to let them when they don't pay their utility bill and they work in every day, but they spending their money on the things that they want and not what they need to do, you got to let them stay in the dark. Hmm. So that the light can come on. But then here's, here's, here's the other one they'll use on you when it comes, especially when it's a girl. What about your grandchildren? All y'all can settle that in a dog together. Get a candle. Just make sure y'all don't burn up nothing. Because if they can get you feeling sorry, you'll have the grandchildren, she'll be over at the house in the dark with some broke ass mother sucker laying on the ground in the apartment screwing and you got the grandchildren. Your bad decisions cannot become my emergencies. Subject tonight as we get ready to take a commercial break because I'm going in depth on this. Your child has made a mess of their life. Now you're making a mess of yours. You can't have no happiness in your life. You can't, you can't, you're a mama, you can't have you no man in your life. You don't raise all your children, but you let one of your children bring all their children into your house because they won't act right. You can't have company. You can't have no life of your own. You can't go on no vacations. You can't enjoy the abundance of life because your child has messed up and now they're messing up your life. What's the slogan again? Your bad decisions cannot become my emergency. I got one for you. Don't you go nowhere right after these messages. Woo! Is this, is this subject all right with y'all? Huh? This might be one you may need to share on all your pages. In fact, why don't you just go and share it right now while we're in the middle of this commercial set. And you're right, Unica. They don't listen. 
And you, we worry ourselves over them not listening for what's good for them. Terry Williams would say, y'all said that's unconstitutional. You, when you go to jail in Texas, hell, you got to farm the land to get your food. Come on now, I need everybody on the page right now to go ahead on and share this. This is something that we need to talk about. How many more left in this? Oh, I'm just hyper this evening. Mm. Hey, Robin, Ma. See, somebody needs this tonight. Some of you right now, y'all babysitting the, the children tonight while your daughter going off to the club. To the club. I'm still young. Take your young ass on to the club and take your youngins too. All y'all go to the club together. going on in Texas, Corey Barrett? Lavelle McCray, good evening to you. Lavelle, we got the uh, got the blankets in today. Thank you so very much, man. And your package will be in the mail first thing in the morning. And coffee's on the way to uh, Oakland. You'll be a new man. Any of you that's on PayPal, you like to contribute to the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries and all the things that we are trying to get accomplished. Today, payday now. Okay. Y'all get $10, $5, $20, $25. Those of you who are tithers and you believe in tithing, but you don't go to nobody's church, tithe into the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. That is down there, paypal.me. Uh, forward slash Naked Truth Ministries. We pinned it on the page just so that you would not have to wonder about it. Reflection is the last one next. is 30 seconds. Well, this one here, 30 seconds left in this? No, reflection next. Oh, okay, okay. I can't drink but one drink tonight. I gotta get up in the morning. <clears throat> Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Alice Wilson. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. And welcome back to the Thaddeus Matthew Show. Hey, gentlemen, I got the coffee. I should have the juice. Ooh, and it works. Good God, man. Mm. That juice that I took last night on the show is a brand new male enhancer. You know I've had the coffee. 
uh, for some while. But this juice is going to come in three flavors. I'm going to have about three, four hundred of them uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to be selling the juice as well. I have been at the church all day. I'm going to find some distribution spots as well. But if you need the coffee, come on by and pick up the coffee. I'll be at the church. I'll be at the church about 8.30 in the morning to about 4 or 5 o'clock on tomorrow evening, 38, uh, 35 Raleigh Millington Road. If it ain't working, brothers, you want it to work. If your man's thing ain't working, baby, get him something that's going to make it work. Now I, I, I have a juice, it, and I have it exclusively in Memphis. It comes in three flavors. You just put it in some water, and you turn it up, and within 15 minutes, that thing is going to be right. It lasts for up to 72 hours. Guys, it comes in a, in a pack, just like the coffee, but it, it, it's only for one glass. Now, you think you need a double dose, you put you two in there. That's going to be up to you. It ain't going to hurt you. It's all herbal. I might take me another cup tonight, even though it lasts for 72 hours. Woo! It made me just feel so extra specially good. All right, let me get back into, uh, you talking about a 72 hour blessing. Now that's a 72 hour blessing now. I can give you that 72 hour blessing. You blessed. What you laughing at definitely? Huh? I'll be back on my real Facebook page on next Friday. Next Friday night, I'll be back on the big one. And I'm going to be sharing the 72 hour blessing too. It, that's what it said. It lasts for 72 hours. Ain't that a blessing, man? If yours ain't been working and now it, it's got a chance to work, but I've got them old men, 70 and 80 years old, that come by and get that coffee. They, and see what grown men do. See, I don't sell no one pack. I wish I would get up from behind my desk for somebody that just won't spend $10. Hmm. 72 hours. Now, it don't keep it hard for 72 hours. But it's sometimes. Because you be in bad shape if you just walking around like that for 72 hours. But what it does, whenever you are aroused for a period of 72 hours, yeah, hmm. just put it in some water and you're ready. Now, let me get back into this into this subject. Your child has made a mess of their self. They go to jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail. You get them out of jail every time. You use your hard-earned money. You can't take no cruise. You can't take no vacation. You can't go buy no new car. You can't buy yourself no new drawers because every bit of your money your extra income, and then even your extra income. You miss paying your bills. You made a mess out of your life. You about to lose your house, about to lose your car. You can't keep your lights on. You can't keep your phone on because you are catering to the bad decision that a child has made. You're making a mess out of your life because of that of that child's life. And, and, and we've talked about the guilt factor where sometimes parents feel as though they have not done all that they can do. And guess what? When you are feeling guilty for uh, not being there and you're giving your child everything that they want because of your guilt factor, guess what? Okay? Guess what? Your child knows it. And your child uses your guilt factor to manipulate you into giving them whatever it is that they want. You know you wasn't around 20 years ago. What the hell I'm around now? Okay? Again, don't let their bad decisions become your emergency. Your enabling. And what is enabling? Enabling is entirely different from parenting and helping. Enabling is doing things for someone else that they can and should be doing for themselves. When you are paying that grown person's bills, when they should be paying their bills themselves, you are enabling them. If you are allowing that grown man to stay in your house and he's grown, you are enabling him. 
if he was out there on his own, he had to do something to survive. He, you buying all the groceries. You, you don't, you don't get no E, B, and T. You using all your extra money on a grown individual in your house that will not do anything for themselves. They're using you. And sometimes the people that can use you the most is a person that is the closest to you. You can use me across town. But people sometimes that you love and you got feelings and you got deep emotions from, those become the persons that will use you. Am I, am I, am I in this house? Yes, I thought it was. Uh, 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 those persons. You made a complete mess of your life. You take a jailhouse call every day, two or three times a day. Sometimes you even lay the phone down, down so he can call his woman. The woman ain't got to pay, but you paying so that he can have the convenience of having a conversation with his woman who ain't putting nothing on his books. You, why are you putting something on his books anyway? They feed you at the jailhouse. They feed you three times a day. You get some breakfast, you get some lunch, and you get some dinner. May not be what you want. You don't get no damn menu, but you get a meal. So what you, I want him to have some potato chips and some snicker bar. If he wanted some potato chips and a snicker bar, should have kept his ass out of jail. Ooh, that's hard, pal. But sometimes parents become so wrapped up in their children's lives that they neglect their own physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. Do we owe it to our adult child to try to intervene when they make a mess? Every time they make a mess, you cleaning up the mess. So what are you going to keep on doing? He's going to keep on messing because he knows he got a fool that's going to always, yeah, that's what I called you. He always got a fool that's going to come to his rescue. He finna do 20 years in jail. What the hell? And you know he guilty. What the hell are you burning him out of jail for? He need to get used to it. You know he finna do 20 years. No, he going to jail. What you burning him out of jail for? And, and, and let, me, let me give you something else. Let me give you something else. Quit letting your kinfolk, your relatives, aunties, mamas, cousins, and uncles, don't let them make you feel guilty for standing up and doing what you know is right. You know your child in jail. You know your child been doing the wrong thing. Your child made the decision to rob somebody, sell some dope, whatever he did, your child made the decision, and then you'll let your mama, you'll let your auntie, you'll let your cousin, none of them got no money, but they'll come and tell you that you need to go get them out of jail. That's our little poo kid. That's our little baby. That's our little whatever you want to call him. Go get him out of jail, girl. He gonna, hell no, let his ass stay in jail. If he out here robbing and killing folk, if he out here raping folk, if he out here carjacking folk, let his ass stay in jail. Touch your neighbors and let him stay his ass in jail. Cuss your folk out and go on with your life. They're already mad because they can't take no vacation. They can't take no cruise. They can't even take a drive to Tunica without borrowing somebody's gas. And you allow other folks to get in the mess. It just gets totally messy. Your child is messy. Your kid folk messy because they try to make you feel guilty about you holding up and standing up for what is right. Hmm. Maria said her child, her son is doing 15 years of robbery. That's where he's supposed to be. He robbed somebody. Mmm. Mmm. Do you cut him out the wheel? 
Held your ass in jail, yeah. 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 Do you withdraw emotional and financial support? You're always going to be emotionally attached. But my emotional attachment ain't going to be connected to my finance. Well, I'm going to do. Baby, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know. I don't know. I shake, shake your hand with me. It may hurt you to your heart, but as long as you are enabling them, guess what? They ain't going to do better. They have no desire to do better. Felicia Hill says, I'm not going to the jail to visit and ain't putting nothing on your commissary. Try me. Mm -mm. You robbed the bank. You raping somebody. You done committed a crime. Don't let me be your phone call. Dad, you know them people downtown. Sure do. I'm going to say that favor for me. You didn't have no business robbing nobody. You, you knew Bella. You didn't have to carjack nobody. You didn't have to embezzle nobody's money. That's your only phone call. You, you call to let me know where you at. I, I'm going to be all right. I know where you at. But I ain't spending no money to go get no lawyer, and I ain't paying no bond. The only somebody I'm going to get a lawyer for to get out of jail is me. Somebody said they, 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 they have to put, you have to put your, put your children sometimes back in God's hands, and you go forward and live your life. And, and you got to, to be happy. Do we suggest that they get some professional help? No, they ain't crazy. They weren't crazy when they robbed the bank. They weren't crazy when they raped somebody. They weren't uh, uh, crazy when they, they was out here taking folks some stuff, breaking in folks' house. No, they, they got some professionals down there at the 201 place or at the state penitentiary. But yeah, yeah. Stop blaming yourself if you've been a good parent. If you know that you did all that you can do for your child, don't let their mess mess you up. You raise your child, and when a child gets a certain age, it's on them. It's no longer on you. You were raised in the world, but he would rather steal. And they catch him stealing. It ain't your fault, baby. You didn't do nothing wrong. Your adult child made a de adult decision. They rationalized their own decision, but they didn't know what the outcome was going to be. It ain't your fault. It ain't your fault. When you've done all that you can do, you cried all the tears that you can cry. You stayed up in a midnight hour trying to make sure that your child had the best that you could do for them. You prayed for them. You prayed over them. You provided for them. When they get grown, and they make these crazy mistakes, it's their mistake, not your reason. Mmm. Mmm. You feeling bad. Because he hit the old lady over here and took her pocketbook. Well, if I had to gave him some money when he asked me, baby, he, he's a man, he ought to have a job. If you ain't got no job, you wait until you get a job. It ain't your fault.
They had no respect for you when they was at your house. They wouldn't come see you, wouldn't call you when they was out in the streets. But as soon as they go to jail, they want to call you. And now you all upset, you crying, you running from room to room, you trying to borrow money from everybody No, you can't pay nothing back. Girl, get out of that mess. He all right. They going to feed him. They even give him some new clothes. They're going to have some flip-flops. Got an orange outfit on or a red outfit, according to what he did, or a gray outfit. What you worrying yourself for? You see, daddy is, but I, but I raised them good. I raised her good. Some of them are getting in trouble because of the company they keep. Peer pressure. They want to fit in. They have no idea about what it is that they're trying to fit into. But they want to fit in. See, the one thing that you all got to understand, grown folk going to do whatever grown folk want to do. You taught him to raise his pants and wear a belt, wear pants that fit him, but because of the people that he associate with, he want to wear his pants down his ass. As long as it ain't in your house, let him wear his pants around his toes if he want to. Mm. The people he around stealing. So he decides to steal. But he made a grown folks decision. Your child will have the unmitigated goal to look you square in the eye when you try to tell them what's right. I'm grown. I do what I want to do. You can't tell me no more what I can and can't do. Go on with your grown ass. Take your grown ass off. Go, 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 go. You right. Go on to your house. If you do do in the middle of the floor and lay in it in your house, it's all right. You in your house. You grow. You you worrying yourself trying to tell a grown child what's right. Jay Labarger, you must be one of them ho ass niggas that uh, your ass been to jail. You you a jailbird, Negro. And see, anytime I see a Negro come on page and you want to be derogatory, brother, that's that bitch in you that you got out of you. That's coming out of you from being in prison in and out. You've been a heartache to your mom. You've been a headache to your mom. In fact, Negro, your mama really, if she's smart, she done got some insurance on you and waiting for your dumb ass to die. Mm. But so that you don't be a dis distraction on the show. I'll look for your name in the death notice, son. Mm. See, when I see a man come on page and you, I'm a punk hoe. You a jail hoe. That you, you've been somebody's hoe in the jailhouse. They done rimmed your asshole out. And you mad because I'm trying to prevent your mama from having the heartaches. Get you some insurance, baby, on him. He living that life in the streets. He living that criminal life in the streets. Yes, it's going to hurt your heart when you got to sit on that front row. But don't let the mess of him not having no insurance mess your life up. 
over there at Auburn Arts, 695, and they'll burn him up, cremate him. That's all his worthless ass need. You See, here's what parents got to understand. You got to know what everybody else know about your child. He ain't no damn good. I know you, mama, you, you, you trying to see some good in him, but it ain't no good in him. You know it ain't no, you, 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 you really know when you step outside of mama and you look at the situation, the way it really is, you know your child ain't no good. He done got killed. Or as the folk in the street say, he done got killed. <laughs> huh? You round trying to borrow money to bury his no good ass? Go over to Arbonaut. They advertise for me. Go over to Arbonaut. They will cremate him, burn him up for $6.95. Mm -mm. You ain't got about no suit. He didn't never wear no suit, no way. Don't dress him up dead when he lived a naked life. Ooh. You want to dress him up dead, but he had no clothing on him living. He had no, he didn't have on the whole arm. He was worthless. And you gonna spend more for him on him dead than he was when he was alive, baby. Six ninety five. Six ninety five. Burn his ass up if you want his ashes. Take his ashes back to the house. In fact, what you want to do? All the Negroes that he was running with that thought he was really something. All those, those folk that got in trouble with him, take a little bit of his ashes and put them all in a little bag and distribute some ashes to all of them. Mmm. Burn him up. You pushing yourself to the limit for your kids. You are only responsible for them until they get grown. Mm. Mm. That's that's what you done raised them. You done did what you're supposed to do. He disobedient. Word says that a disobedient child, you can't come to no good end. He cussing you out, you his mama, but he'll call you all kind of bitches and hoes. And then when you go to jail, you want to get him out? The same child that you gave birth to that'll call you a bitch will call you a hoe. You want to get him out of jail because you feeling sorry for him because he got that jailhouse tone on you. Mama, I know I'm wrong. That nigga been knowing he was wrong all his life. He conning you, baby. It's a con job. I don't know who needed to hear this tonight, but this just jumped up in my spirit when I got up this morning. That somebody needed to hear this tonight. When they're 18, they are res responsible and accountable for their own actions. It ain't your fault. Take it off of you tonight. At 8.15 tonight, right now, 
take the guilt off of you. Quit allowing your child to run a guilt trip on you. It's time for you to stand up and decide, I want to be happy. I'm going to be happy. I'm not going to allow the mess that my child has made of his life to make a further mess of mine. I'm going to clean up the mess in my life. I'm going to sanitize it. I'm going to bleach the floors of the mess that they made. I'm going to get up, spray some Febreze in the house. I, I'm going to make it smell good. And I'm going to move on with my life. Because I have made a decision that your bad decisions will no longer become my mercy. I'm not talking about Juliet. That ain't even my subject. So don't 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 take me. Well, if it's your man, you a damn fool if you got a man and he's standing in trouble and you still win. You the damn fool. But that's a that's a show for another night. Don't you love nobody else more than you love yourself? I don't care if it's your child. Don't love your child more than you love yourself. Because if your child loved you as a mama, then that child wouldn't want to see his mama suffer and go through some of the depression, the obsessions that they go through because of them. Mmm. You don't stop living. You just existing. You, you really have no life. You, you're a walking dead woman. You're a walking dead man because you have allowed the mess of your child to make a mess of your life. The burden of getting life back on track is not yours, but it's your child. Let me, let me say that again. The burden of getting life back on track does not belong to you. It belongs to the child that got off the track. It wasn't your fault that your child got off the track. Got on crack. Got on hair run. Got involved in all types of things. It was not your fault. Your child made a decision. And until your child makes the decision to get his or her life on track, you better keep on living. Mm -mm. See, adult children... Sometimes they make poor choices in terms of lifestyle. You, you know you weren't raised that way, but they make that decision. They, 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 they make poor choices in jobs. You drop out of school. You mad the world because you the salt shaker on the french fries. At Burger King, and you can't get enough hours. They got some other folk with the same mentality as you that need to shake some salt on some French fries too, so that they can still stay a multi-billion-dollar corporation. Hmm. But you mad at the world? You should stay in school. Don't be a fool. You paying child support for four or five kids off of seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. Hmm. You make bad decisions, bad choices. Your child off a living arrangement. They they go live with the girl's mama. And any mama, any woman that has a child, and you allow a grown man to come into your house that is not married to your daughter, and the boyfriend is sleeping with your daughter in your house, you the biggest bitch in the world. That's what I called you. You a bitch. You, you, you're unfit. You're not even a mother. I can't call you a mother. I can't even call you a lady. I can't call you a woman. How do you do that to your daughter? 
How do you let a man come and sleep with your daughter in your house and you paying the bills? Mm. Some, of, some, of, some of these young men, they choose their own friends. You tried to keep them around certain type of people. You, you tried to know where they were at all the time when they were young, but now they done got off. And sometimes some of these brothers can, can find some of these young girls. And she's sucking good one time. And his eyes roll back up from his head. He ain't never had no good sucking and no good... Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, in your house, he gets grown. As the old folks said, he beginning to smell himself. Uh, you you, you got to be about my age. Remember when the old folks used to say that? Uh, uh, you, you beginning to smell yourself. But you got to do what I said do as long as you live in my house. And as for me and my house, we, we going yeah, we, we to serve the Lord. And when you get to the place I don't care if you're 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. When you get to the place that you cannot abide by the rules of the house, you need to find yourself a new house. You need to find somewhere to move to. If it ain't nowhere but Juvenile Court or 201 Papa. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we have the burden of not forgiving ourselves sometimes as, as parents. We, we have not done all that we can do. So now we allow the misdeeds, the bad decisions of bad children and bad thinking to control us and to consume us. And it destroys our inner self. It's time tonight for some of you as parents to let it go. Hmm. If your child can't do the time, then don't let him do the crime. You've got to allow your child to suffer the consequences Of their actions. Their actions. Their actions. You got to loose them and let them go. If your child wants to live a devil's life, you got to tell your child to go to hell. You got to get to the place that you only offer advice when you ask. I know it's hard to sit back and see them make some of the decisions that they make. But you got to let it go. Parents, you are no longer in charge of all the details in your child's life. Let me run that to you again. You are no longer in charge of all the details in your child's life. You just got to turn it over to God. You got to put them up in God's hands. 
and tell God, I, I, I'm giving it back to you. I, I've done all that I can do. I, I've raised this child or these children to the best of my abilities. You got to tell God, I, I, I stayed up some nights. Lord, you, you saw me down on my, on my knees praying for their safety. And even now, God, as my child is living the life that he or she has decided to live, I still pray for their safety. And then you, you, you've got to be able to tell God, let your will be done. And God, if you does not, if you don't spare his life, then God prepare me for whatever your will happens to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, if the death angel rides down on him because of the bad decisions that he's made. Then God prepare me. Mm. Prepare me, prepare me. It, 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 it's going to hurt. But Lord, Get my get my mind ready. Get get my get my get my heart ready. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, get yeah, get get yeah, get yeah. Get your and y'all quit inboxing. Definitely. I wasn't talking about Delta. Delta's job is totally secure. And she makes so much money, she ain't going nowhere. Some of y'all were thinking, y'all start the inbox and I'm going to start calling y'all names because y'all get all off in the show business. Y'all send another inbox and see if I don't call your name and ask you why you all up in the, in, in, in the business of this show. Mm. What time is it in your life? What time is it in your life? Are you tired of being used and abused by your own child? Do you know tonight that your child is using you? Hmm. You know what the hurt is. You know what the pain is. Aren't you tired? It's Friday night. It's raining. Your child won't get up. Your daughter won't get up in the morning and come to the job fair at the church. But she'll go out tonight to the club and she's going to call you. Mama, will you watch Bebe, Bronquisha, Nuke Nuke, and Doo Doo and Poo Poo? Will you, will you watch them talk? Come on. And then you know she ain't got sense enough to come home. You won't see her till in the morning. I just feel sorry for them grandchildren. No, baby, you got to let the grandchildren go. You didn't lay down and get them. You done provided for the grandchildren. You done gave them milk. You done bought pampers. Mm. You done kept the lights on in the past. Mm. When you going to let that child be grown? Let's take a commercial break.
and we'll be right back. Who was it that was sending you them inboxes? I don't know now. Huh? I don't know. I know well, one of the guys works with uh, my friend Ernest King, but she must have told him where I worked at because he gave me all the information. Oh, what information? What I was telling you earlier today about the counseling job. About the what? The counseling job. So why would they think I was talking about you? Y'all tell these motherfuckers say I might be. Cause I put them all on front street. How bad I got low? Age, I'm glad you got that job, girl. Dirk, you can come by the church Monday and get it. I'm going to have it sometimes tomorrow. I don't sell less than three packs at a time, brother. Seeking familiar, mm -hmm. yet delicious, comforting menu options during this very difficult time. 
Robin said, don't drink no juice tonight. Go home and get you some rest. <laughs> uh, Robin Ma. 20 some years ago, I was coming to your house at night with them. Remember them days? Said, so don't drink no juice tonight. I got to demonstrate my product, don't I'd be Superman with two nights of juice. We got the cups and some wine. And welcome back to the Thaddeus Matthews. About the last 25 minutes of the show. Hope that you have enjoyed the show tonight. Hope that you've got something out of it. Those of you on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> those of you on Facebook, um, share it. Share this message on tonight. Mm -hmm. To you men that um, I got the new product. I'm an entrepreneur. I, I believe in being in business and having things that makes money. It's called supply and demand. There is a demand for male enhancements. Uh, there are men who suffer from erectile dysfunction for various reasons, medical reasons. Uh, Y'all, you're just old, okay? But I got two products now. I'll have the juice on tomorrow. We're labeling them. I will have the juice exclusively in Memphis. I tried the juice for the first time myself last night, and it's a wonder worker. Yes, it is. If you enjoy the juice, if you enjoy the coffee, the coffee, everybody don't like coffee, but you may have been drinking coffee. You put the little packets of hot water, stir it up, and drink it. Well, sometimes the occasion comes where you can't uh, get you no coffee. You can't get the water. The girl that called you and told you to come on over. And you can't get nowhere and find you no hot water. But you can take the new juice. Dale, yes. give me one of them cups. I have to demonstrate my product. Ain't no cups. She went somewhere special and got this stuff. Let's bring our cups at. And some and, and, and no wall. I should have brought my own wall. Y'all you gotta sit down and find me a cup and some and some wall. And some bottle of wall and a cup. I have to demonstrate the product because I wanted to sell. It sells for uh, $10 a pack. You've seen the coffee. The coffee works. And I've got the coffee at the church. Come on by the ch church on tomorrow. i got plenty of coffee there. And I have the juice at some point uh, tomorrow. The juice uh, lasts up to 72 hours. Don't mean that it'll keep you totally firm for uh, 72 hours. But it does mean that if the arousal, if you arouse, that you'll be able to handle uh, the job. I, I should have brought my own cup and my own wall for the demonstration on the product. You got the wall? Find me a cup, Dale. Huh? That's what? That's too, I don't want to drink that much. Hit it, hit it come with a cup. And some water. I wanted to, Ms. David went back there and had some uh, clear. See, guys, you can put this in your wallet. Okay. You can put this in your wallet. No, like where y'all keep your condoms at. 
I demonstrated to you last night, and believe me, it does work. Okay? Okay? Now, even if you have high blood pressure, this is herb, herbal. Okay? Did they find a cup? Yeah. Here comes a cup. <laughs> Bring me the cup, Dale. Bring me one I need something to stir with. What? Well, I'm, I'm going to get you some so that you can have too. To what? To, to drink. I need something to stir with. <laughs> you want two cups? Do you know what you're saying? No, I ain't going to share mine with him. You, <laughs> you don't share. Every man has to get his own to work it. I ain't going to help no man get his working. I have to get mine working. Keep mine to working. This is an excellent product for you guys who are on the high blood pressure pills and things of uh, that nature. Okay. And all you got to do, pull you some wall. Okay. Pull your wall in the low cup. Okay. Tell. It comes in three flavors. I'm, I'm, we're getting some label, huh? Could you not, I know you're doing it like demonstrating it that way. Would what? Would you want to just pour that into the water bottle and shake the bottle? Well, you probably could pour it in the, in the, in the water. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Dale. Yes, you could probably pour it in the If you don't have a cup, guys, you can pour it in uh, the water bottle and shake it up, okay? But if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna pour it in the cup. Yeah. Make sure you can only steal some up in there. Don't wanna leave none in there. There you go. Now ladies, if your man suffers from erectile dysfunction, get him some. I'm the only somebody in town that got this. I got, what's that word I used last night? Exclusivity. Stirred up real good. Yes. Okay. And then you drink it. That's all you got to do. Mm. How do you know it's working on you? Well, well, let's say. How do you know it's working on you? Les, it wouldn't be for you to know if it's working on me. I don't go that way. Okay. But in about 15 minutes. What did he say? Show it. I can't. I'll be off TV. We can't do no uh, no action picture. We this ain't the this ain't King Kong. We can't can't do the King Kong show. But that's all it that, takes, guys. And I'm having it. The label, I should have about three or four hundred uh, on tomorrow. I got plenty of the coffee, guys. Come on by the church. I'll be there all day. Come to the front door. Just ring the doorbell. I've got a few still left up in uh, Frazier at Shiraz, 3666 North Watkins. <sighs> Do a commercial right this minute. Thank you. I got this. 
But I hope that you all have enjoyed. Ooh. Mm. 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 I hope that you all have enjoyed the show on tonight, and I hope that uh, you have been able to dissect this information. Some of you got some friends that need to hear what we were talking about on the show tonight. Okay? Some of you need to hear. Some of you need to share this. You got some mothers and some fathers too. There, there are fathers in many cases who are going through the same situation that, that we're going through. Okay? They'll, what you're looking up in the ceiling for, you see a squirrel or something directly? That might be me blowing in the mic. Okay, okay, I don't know. If y'all see it, let me know. I ain't got about 15 minutes left on the air tonight. Look, don't forget, the job fair tomorrow. If you are unemployed, come to the church on tomorrow. Come to the church on tomorrow from 9 until 4, from 9 until 4 on tomorrow. Uh, Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries, 3835 Raleigh Milton in the city of Memphis. Now, if you're in the North Memphis area and you are an adult and you need transportation and you'd love to come, 435-6161 is the church number. 435-6161. We're not picking up children. We're not running a daycare center. If your child is not with you, okay? Uh, but if you'd like to be picked up, 435-6161. But you do know that you have to be ready to be at our morning class that starts at 9 o'clock, okay? And we don't just sit out there and wait no five minutes for you to finish putting your weave in and tying it down, okay? But 435, we do have a bus ministry, 435. Six one, six one. Okay, um, four three five, six one, six one. That is the church number. But I'd love to see if you're unemployed. I'd love to see you at the uh, church tomorrow from nine until four o'clock on tomorrow. But this was a very interesting subject that we had on tonight. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of this particular message that we brought to you tonight. Sunday morning, I'd love to see you Sunday morning at the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. Again, 3835 Raleigh Milliton Road. Our morning worship starts at 10 o'clock. The message will be on this Sunday. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Many of you are living your life miserably because of the, the excuses that you have allowed to take place in your life. All right, let me tell you yeah, about Papa Bear Skins. I got to call him tomorrow so we can keep on talking about Papa Bear skins. Black man, black business started his own company. His grandfather was in the big skin business. Big bag of skins. I ate them for about two weeks here on the TV. Support this brother, Kelvin Jones, and you can call him at 601-2099. 601-2099. 9-9. Nine, nine. The only place that they can be purchased is Shop and Save, 1499 South 3rd. Barbecue flavored, spicy, ranch, lemon pepper, salt, and vinegar. That's where you can get, get them. Support this man. Also, I want you to support DMC Cleaners. I just picked up today seven suits from down there. DMC Cleaners is a black-owned cleaners, full-service cleaners. 
they got their own presses. They got their own stuff. Sometimes you have only drop off centers where you just drop off your stuff and some they, your clothes got to go to somebody else. They've got their own everything. Black owned cleaners, they've been with me for years. They were with me on the radio. DMC Cleaners is located at 62 Fairway, right there at Fairway and 3rd. If you're in the West, Westwood, Whitehaven, South Memphis area, you should be patronizing a black cleaners. If you are working downtown and you gotta come that way, you work in Tunica, you gotta go that way, go by DMC Cleaners. So my good friend, Harold C. Moore there today, and I've been knowing Harold for years. Uh, his son, Michael Moore and I were, ooh, we were friends way back in the 70s. 789 7983 is the number. Same day service, in by nine. You can get your clothes the same day. It's 50% off on your dry cleaning when you pay in advance. For instance, those seven suits that I had cleaned uh, would have cost a hundred, or right below, or a little bit over a hundred dollars, about a hundred dollars, had I paid them when I went to pick them up. But because I paid in advance, only fifty-two dollars, and that's for seven suits, and many of the suits were three-piece suits. So go by, and patronize this business again. They're open Mondays through Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Their number again, 789-7983. You need a gun permit. You need to learn properly how to use a gun. Then you need to call Goldsmith Security Academy. Sean uh, Goldsmith is one of my security persons. He's there every Sunday morning. Uh, call him. You can get your handgun carry permit. You can go through the class. If you're a security guard, he's got classes for the armed and the unarmed. He can get you all of your certification. For you you guys who are in the uh, security business on handcuffs, shotguns, technical spray, you must be 18 years of age. 634-8384. 634-8384. Eight, four. Make sure you give Sean Goldsmith a call. I think that's all on the read commercials. You Oh, this one. You heard me talking tonight about your children that live in those lives and you're in that messy situation and you don't have money to bury them and they don't have money, they don't have sense enough to have money to bury themselves. Here's what I want you to do. Take this number down. 649-4738. 649-4738. For a guaranteed next day in home, free quote from a licensed field underwriter. Heritage Funeral Advantage gives your loved one peace of mind knowing they have an experienced partner to ease the burden of planning and paying for their final expenses or your final expenses. The funeral cash benefit goes up to $30,000. And guess what? You can take the, the $30,000, spend the six ninety five. dollars You got a hell of a profit, okay? And this is all the way up to age 85. No medical exam is required to apply. The claims will be paid within 24 hours upon the claim approval. What's that number? What's that company? Heritage Life Insurance Company. 649-4738. 649-4738. Then I'm going to tell you about one more agency. Lewis Help Today Foundation. And you may need their services. They provide educational, transitional, and housing services to those who are in need in Shelby County. They also will help you with your re-entry reporting. They focus on helping families, the homeless, 
uh, inmates, uh, incarcerated, and those who are just getting out of jail get back into uh, society, especially with their housing. They promote self-sufficiency, advocacy, uh, health and wellness, along with educational. They're located at two locations, 3850 Viscount Avenue, Suites 9 and 10. That number is 654-3003, 654-3003, and 761 Walker Avenue, uh, 512-6146, 6146 If you would like to advertise on the Thaddeus Matthews Show, you know my number, 949 3000, 949 3000. Again, I'd love to see you Sunday morning at the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries, 3835 Raleigh Middleton Road. For those of you around the country, we're also on Facebook a little bit out to 10. You can come and watch us live. You can hear the message, see the message on Facebook Live right here on the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment page. Next Sunday is our baptism and our communion Sunday. Angel Brown, take me to the wall. We're going to have a ball uh, each and every Sunday. I'd love to see you. Make it your business to come. 10 o'clock, morning message. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Well, I can't make no excuse now. It's time for me to go. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Thaddeus Augustus Matthews. I'm the baddest man on TV that you're ever going to see. Until Monday afternoon or Sunday morning or at 9 o'clock in the morning for the job fair, top of the evening to you. Woo! So what? All right. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me. Bye.